And we've got a nice full lineup from uh, from both teams. Looks like they're bringing uh, some decent players, actually. Uh, LN has brought to the table Knight, Hybrid, Kobe, DD Pones, and iLogic, though, has brought, uh, brought a few of their ringers. Uh, so we're looking at Smooth, which is, of course, Lore, uh, RZB, Razorback, Otacon, and Dream. Uh, all very experienced players. Otacon, we could easily say, is the, the shortest man on that list, but um, still fairly decent. Yes, and Alodic does have Omen and Gar as subs in case they need to use them. So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the position that uh, that Ilogic is in for this game is going to be a bit of a sweep easy, I think. You just look at RZB taking, taking both DDP and... Uh, a night on. Yeah, it looks like they got a good double nade off on night, followed with a couple bounces and cleaned him up very nicely. Alright. Well, Dream and uh, RZB have pushed the top, and Smooth and Otacon are definitely pushing the bottom there. Um, looks like Ellen's kind of in a bad position right now. They're kind of all out in the middle. They want to. They, they don't really have any cover for the crossfire that's coming at them. Yeah. See, this I I really can't say. I mean, this is one of the reasons why I uh, I usually do this commentary with Amon or uh, or somebody else's exceptionally experienced in Go is we get an opportunity to see, you know, what's the best positioning and where should people be. But it looks like LN is, uh, is in a bad position. Uh, yeah, but, um, down bottom, I don't remember who that was. I think it was Hybrid. He got a nice kill off onto Otto. Or, yeah, Otacon, which kind of stopped the uh, iLogic push, so looks like everything's going to reset back at mid now. I'm actually just sending a quick PM to, uh, to Amon to get his butt in here and uh, give us a hand. It looks like his response is that he's coaching, like they need coaching. Well, mind you, that uh, that dream guy is pretty useless. <laughs> Just kidding. By red team. White flag returned to red base. Uh, uh, RZB and uh, down bottom. Yeah. I'm surprised you have uh, all four iLogics in here. It almost looks like they're just toying with uh, LN at the moment. Um, I, I think they're just like it's the opening. You're trying to get a fill for the other a little bit. You don't want to like overextend too far early. You just kind of want to, you know, see what the other team has to offer a little bit. Well, mind you, I guess health-wise, uh, it looks as though. They were not in they as good a position good. as we thought. Yeah, they went into that push with two smokers. Um, probably not the best position they wanted to be in but to try to get a flag cap, but now they can just reset it back mid, so not really hurting them at all. Well, Red's going to train, or, or LN's going to train, eke out a little bit of an advantage here. They're pushing from low with DDP and uh, Hybrid. Oh, that, that was pretty clutch by two. Uh, 2v1, and he killed both of them. Well, he yeah. killed both of them, but... 
You got both of them smoked and then easy cleanup for him and Green. Yeah, I caught that. Uh, Odo, did you end up catching that on the uh, broadcast? <coughs> yeah, I did. Oh, and then Smooth just runs right into. Well, I um, guess it might be a good idea to, to die at that stage and respawn. Yeah, that, that's what he's going for, because he knows that Ellen is coming in to try to pull the flag, and he doesn't want to med them after the flag's out. So he just wants to come back with full health before they get it. Because as you can see, Dream right now is uh, looking pretty fast for him. White flag captured by Red Trump. But as you say that, RGB picked up the kill on Kobe, which pretty much was their push. White flag captured by Green Team. White flag returned to Green Base. Oh, nice job for Otacon. <coughs> um, what happened? I didn't catch that. Well, DDP uh, had finally made it down low into the green base and was coming up uh, just in between the lower flag holder and the barricades and Otta tuned him up with a missile. It was beautiful. A couple of lasers uh, bouncy and a missile to finish him off. Dream's in a little bit of trouble here. He got himself caught. Um, I think he just wanted to do as much damage there before he died. Because um, he knew he wasn't going to get out of that. So. Just see now Ellen's about to push the four. He's just going to spawn with full health to be another defender. Ellen's definitely making a push. Uh, two versus one against RZB down below. And it looks like Dream is uh, going to go and scatter things up a little bit back in their base. Yeah, it looks like he's trying going to for a flag a run. Sneaky, yeah, sneaky flag run. But Kobe is going back to try to stop him. That's Very right. Stalling. White flag captured by the green team. Well, everyone smoked. Oh, night's lagging out. Yeah, night's lagging out. <coughs> if you notice that how smooth and RGB didn't go to the immediate kill on the guy in the low bunker. He was trying to give his, uh, trying to give Dream a chance to get the flag and get out, but he didn't really have much chance versus Kobe. I, I'm oh. thinking Knight's lag out may have actually helped them with the spawner. Um, I don't really think so, because Knight was going to die anyway. Before, like, as he's lighting out, he's about to die, so it would have been 16 seconds regardless. Right. But what it did do is it did not give the green team a med, so that's how it would help them. Yeah, good point. But um, it's kind of a shame to see Night lag out like that. He's, he's one of the Elden's best players. Well, he's come back, so now he's got to wait to uh, to sub out. Yeah, he should have seven out on um, Spirit next step, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, I would think so. <coughs> oh, that was a nice spread from Hyper back there. Call Dream like four lasers. You know, I'm I'm actually very surprised. LN is uh, 
is holding down the fort here. They're not making it easy for iLogic. Uh, it seems to be that iLogic, their main downfall here is that they're not, they're not moving up as four. They're sending one or two in, and aliens just collapsing on them, and, and they're getting that kill off, so... You know, they can't really push a three into the base because the LN got, you know, permanent respawners there. <laughs> I like the way you put that, permanent respawners. They're always dead, therefore it's permanent respawn. Now, the reality though is, you know, LN has, uh, has been showing some, some needed moves here. We are at this stage, uh, 11 minutes and 10 seconds into the match, approximately. And we've had a pretty even battle so far. Yeah, that, that, that does not look good for Ellen right there. They're a no, it doesn't. Situation. I just can't for the life of me understand why they had all of their players down at the bottom. Uh, I, I mean, having them all there isn't, uh, I mean, it's kind of a bad position. They should have had a couple up top, or at least one of them up top, but... It's a completely it, it bad position. They caught where they couldn't back out because of the nade coming in. They, like, they well, had no escape route. That's the problem, is they leave themselves, you know, basically in a triangle, um, where they're the, the number one fulcrum and, you know, iLogic has the opportunity to, uh, to basically double-side them. But, there, there goes Ellen again, see they get that kill on RGB, it just kind of kills the iLogic push. Yep. And then of course we've got both Smooth and Dream, uh, who are, yeah, who are smoking at the moment. Yeah, but see, that's and what I'm talking about. Uh, how Smooth and Dream, they just, see, they sent two into the base, it ended, when that, so when RGB got picked out, picked off, they couldn't back up to mid and wait for their team to come back to make, now it just completely killed them, they have to wait for everyone to respawn, everyone to creep back up and get where they're supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Actually, pretty decent uh, respawns. I guess the, the question is, what does LN do at this point? Are they gonna? I would love to see LN just, you know, make a nice flag push, make a nice flag run, and you know, possibly do something with this game. Uh, it'd be an interesting upset. Yeah, I don't. I just don't think. I don't think that LN has the fragging. They can't out frag. I logic. So I don't think they're just gonna be able to four man push into the base. So I think what they're gonna have to do is. Then like Kobe and see if they can get a 1v1 in the iLogic base to get a flag out. And try to defend 3v3 in their own base or something. I mean, that's the only way I can see them getting flagged. You know, I remember years and years and years ago, uh, you know, training with Hybrid, just kind of uh, learning from him on how the game was played and how to uh, how to spread properly and effectively. He looks rusty. Oh, who are you talking about? I'm talking about Hybrid X. Uh, yeah, this is definitely not Hybrid X. One of his best games, I'm sure. Dream gets a nice missile off on Kobe there, followed by... Hybrid's got a nice, uh... 